introduce our broadcast team. I'm George Savarikis alongside John Cook, a 21-time winner on the PGA Tour and PGA Tour Champions, and Phil Blackmar, a winner on both the PGA Tour and PGA Tour Champions, as well as our man on the ground, Fred Couples, on the left-hand side of this 12th fairway. Let's say hello to Phil Blackmar. Big, is he boxed out with the second, or does he have an angle? Well, he doesn't have an angle, but he's got a shot. How about that, George? Okay. He's got 198 <laughs> yards it back into a little breeze. He's got to turn it around this tree in front of him. The hole's cut over in the right front of the green. It brings the water in play that's in front of the screen and angles to the right. Beautiful day, as you mentioned, just a light breeze, soft conditions after the rain last night. Players taking advantage of it. This is a par five, so his second on the par five. He's going to need a good strike, get this ball up in the air big to carry that right part of that water hazard to sling it back from right to left. Got it. Got to clear of the water hazard, and that's that's not too bad. That's not a bad leave, honestly. Clark to two under par. Same hole, Fred Couples, even at this point in his round. For from birdie. The, from the other side of the hole, down the hill. Let's see if Fred could get his round going, and he does. Just gets that one to roll out. Couples to one under through six. More from Fred on the par 3 8. 153 yards today, the par 3 8. Just a nine iron for Fred. Staring it down, why wouldn't he? Right over top of the flag stick. He doesn't have much green to work with. The ball sitting down a little bit. The tree is maybe just barely out of his way. It'll be interesting to see. He's going to have to take a longer swing to loft this high in the air without much green to work with. He's really good at these shots, John. He has very dead, soft hands when he plays these. Yeah, he has those soft hands. He's going to take a you know real long swing, kind of maybe almost decel a little bit and flip it up in the air. We've seen Fred hit a lot of good, a lot of good shots similar to this. Pick that club up nice and quick, get it straight up in the air, drop it right on the back of the ball, get that right hand flipped under. Not quite the strike that he was hoping for. Back to the twelfth, Fred Couples uphill birdie putt. Putting back up the hill, it's been since 2017, his last win here on the PGA Tour Champions, and you know he has said how much he'd like to get back into that winner's circle. He doesn't have his best stuff, though, so far here today. Yeah, he let one get away right there. Big, got to get through number 12 with no more than four. Fred Couples' turn, 13th tee. Hand came off the club there, big. Hit it a little right here. This is a very good par four. You need to hit the fairway. That just barely catches the long rough. It'll be a tough second. Yeah. 13th rough with Fred Couples. And Phil, this lies looking a little nasty. Yeah, it, it's probably more nasty than it looks sitting down in this rough. About three and a half, four inches of rough this week. He's got 210 yards all the way back to the hole. Got to go around this tree. Got degree one, of difficulty pretty high. Yeah, he's got one had one of his hybrids out big, just trying to run it up the center of the green. He does a nice job that might get up to the top. Will it catch that little ridge? Will it stay? From across the ridge, Fred Couples for birdie on 13. Putting up and over, as you mentioned, George. Flattens out once it gets on top. It's going to swing a little bit to the right throughout the entire putt. Might have got a little bit of a speed read off of Steve Stricker. Online. Comes up a little short. He did on the ninth as well, a similar putt, but he three putted, came up short of the first. Can Couples make it three for three? He's got that old square three wood. He's had a number of these, but these are back from the mid 90s, I think. <laughs> it was a long time ago for these these three woods. Might have been earlier than that. Looks like that was right down the center. Good oh. tee ball from Fred Couples. All three in good position there at the 14. Still. So, Phil, you were saying you'd prefer the left-hand side. I'm assuming the angle here for Fred is what you had in mind. It, it is. That Stricker's ball looks pretty close for me here. <laughs> Might be hard to do any better than that. Just a wedge here for Freddie. Good strike. Yeah, sounded flush. Underneath the hole. 
didn't quite control the spin as well as Strick. But oh, just inside of him. Just kisses Strick's ball there, right? Fourteenth today, seven birdies, seven bogeys. Field playing it to a scoring average of four point zero zero. Brett had to get a good read off of Strick's ball. Missed on the same side. Back now on the fifteenth tee. Fred Couples will have the honor in this threesome. Well, John mentioned just a few moments ago, just put the ball in play here, unless you've got 180 mile an hour ball speed like Harrington <laughs> does. Not many on this tour have 180. I don't know that this tour has seen 180, John, do you think? All right, this is our Trackman Tracer presented by South Dakota Highway Safety. That's been the miss for Freddie today. Yeah, up there to the right in that right rough. No harm done with the whole location in the back. People at home are going to be tired of us talking about hole high, but it is a number one with irons. Can Fred deliver from the rough? Tough shot, downhill lie, delight, but it wasn't bad. A little bit of green, more green to work with from that angle. Takes advantage of it. Good yeah, shot. That'll get a little bit better too. So that was a nice, uh, nice work there for Fred. Definitely. This will move a little right off the strike and then straighten out. Mitsubishi Electric Classic earlier this season. Fred averaging 296 off the tee. Certainly move it. You got the right side of the tee here, Big, trying to hit a cut. He's leaning. Maybe he didn't think it was enough. Fred from way in the left trees. He's laying it up. Best is history. Just top ten his way into everything. A little wedge left for uh, Fred here on 16. A bit of choice. Do you want to take it in low and skip it or high and fly it back there? I think he's trying to fly it all the way back there. And Might not have what he was looking for. No, not at all. That would be an interesting little pitch shot. Fred Couples fourth from just off the green on 16. He might make this one. Lies good. He can get cleanly onto the ball. I don't think there'll be a problem here. It's got a lofty club. Just pitch it on, let it release a little. Yeah, contact has to be clean. He's got it way back in his stance like he likes to play this. Hands ahead. De-loft the club a little bit. It was well played, but I think a missed opportunity there for Fred, making fives on all the par fives today. In the fairway on 18 for Harrington. Slip back to the 17th tee, Fred Couples. John, why does his swing last so long? Is that back trouble yet? The swing still long and languid? Just that. He's, uh, he, he's, his mobility is good. His flexibility is good. Uh, he's kept his power, but, you know, a lot like Davis is, he just hasn't played a lot of tournament golf. Uh, who asked the most questions? I, I think who's most intrigued by other players? Well, that's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. I, I know that uh, O'Mara, Mark O'Mara, was always seeking more and more knowledge. As we watch Fred Couples, he had a drill he used to do that his dad, his father, taught him to pretend there was a nail back behind his right foot, and he tried to drive the nail into the ground with the butt of the club, and that's how he maintained his width. Fred aiming it up the right, trying to hit a draw. At their peak, who is longer? 268, some ground to make up for Steven Alker. Fred Couples, 18th fairway. Go. Asking for it to go. And he got the top, top level. Give himself a, an opportunity to make birdie. Take advantage of scoring conditions like this and still have to make putts. Let's see if Fred can end on a good note. Pretty good breaker right to left here. Yeah, but a really good look at it right up here. It's, it's, it's one of those things that breaks this putt that breaks the same the entire way. There's no change in slope. 
makes it a little easier to read and get a feel for it. Just gonna put it out there, a cup outside the right. Starts turning left, doesn't snap enough. That's our 53rd round in the 60s, one under 69, Fred Couples. Boys, we got important matches next week, both the assistant captains. Freddie, you first. What are you looking forward to the most about the matches? Uh, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's just a personal fun to watch these guys hit the golf ball. And I said it the very first time when I was a captain in 09, that you rarely stand behind people when they're hitting. When we play, we're always to the side. And just to watch them say, I'm gonna hit it here and turn it there or cut it there, five days of that is, is just gravy for me. I really enjoy it. Steve, last year at Whistling Straits, led the team. And I just try and keep them as loose as they can. And then next week, Davis, and it'll be the same for us. Steve, how about you? Your thoughts? Yeah. It much what Freddie said, it's uh, it's just a treat to be a part of these teams still. You know, uh, when we get up in age like we are, and, and Freddie's a little bit older than all of us, but we all we all love being around him, right? And and the guys love having him around, and, and we love being with all the guys. It's uh, it's a special treat for us, and if you can't play, this is the next best thing, is to be a part of these teams as an assistant captain, and uh, just to help him out in any way we can. And Davis is, you know, a great captain, and he'll do a great job, but it's it's a treat for us to be there. We look forward to watching. I tell you, I wish I could be in the locker room with you guys. I want to pick your brains about how you guys play. It's pretty fun yeah. to watch you play, yeah. George, back to you guys. So I mentioned Hall of Famer Fred Couples with, with the salad round today. We're going to take a look at some of the highlights from Freddie on the tee at the par 3 10th. First swing of the day was a pretty good one. You gotta start it up like that. You gotta knock it in. Yeah, you do. Hit way out there to the right. Let it loop in. So how about that start on 10? Birdie's 10, par par. Birdie, 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 birdie. On 13, 14, 15, and 16. Made the turn in five under 31, even on his back nine, which is the front. But at five under 65, there's a chance on Sunday, Fred Couples. To the 17th, have seen some flashes out of Fred Couples this week. Had a second round, 65 today. Bit of a struggle, three over on his round. Yeah, not a good day here for Fred. 186 yards today, the 17th. Seen some good shots so far, and there's another one. All right, you feeling it? Freddie make it two in a row? Yes. Couples. Just through the break a little bit. Just hangs out on the high side. Par on the card for Couples. Rip ahead to the 18th, Fred Couples from the fairway. Trying to get this back right hole location. Needs to stay up. Easy. Okay. Got on the proper level. To the scene on 18, Fred Couples for birdie. Got it on the proper level. That goes uphill, slow putt. Will he finally make one? Yes! Oh. Took a while. Couples giving something to the fans to close out his week. Teased him there for a minute. 